Icon. Not a word to be used lightly. Nearly 50 years ago, an icon was born. Defined by peerless refinement, extraordinary capability, with the burning passion to go above and beyond. Born of the need, the desire to experience new places and to do so in comfort for the first time. Created for the country set to use on the estate and then drive to the townhouse, it has become a global must-have. The Range Rover family has grown over the years. It is now Britain's largest luxury export, spanning the entire globe, covering ground where no other vehicles dare to tread. Tonight, you will meet a new type of Range Rover. Welcome, the newest member of an iconic family. Jerry McGovern, Chief Design Officer, Land Rover. Don't worry, I'm not going to say the New York bit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the new Range Rover Velar, the newest member of the Range Rover family. From a very early age, I was inspired by modernism and clean, reductive design. Here in New York are some of my favourite examples of modernist design. The Seagrim Building by Mies van der Rohe, Oscar Niemeyer's UN headquarters, and here, the Lincoln Centre, a metropolis of modernism. Whether it's the design of a building, a car, or an everyday object, design has the ability, the power, to enrich people's lives and lift their spirits. The most compelling designs are the ones that differentiate themselves from the ordinary and force an emotional response. In my view, emotional design requires three key ingredients to be truly successful. Visceral, when I look at it, do I desire it? Behavioral, when I use it, does it function properly? And last but not least, reflective. Once I've owned it for a period of time, do I continue to desire it? Does it continue to function? And have I built a rewarding relationship with it? Modern, elegant, and with a touch of glamour. From its stunning silhouette and beautiful proportions to the calm sanctuary of its clean, sophisticated interior. This is a vehicle that will create an emotional response. And while design excellence is at the core of Velar, so too is its engineering integrity. Velar has an abundance of technical innovations and design enabling technologies. For example, the, la the matrix laser lighting, the flush deployable door handles, and the blade-like infotainment system. So, a vehicle with emotionally charged DNA and unquestionable heritage. A vehicle that will turn heads 
on the streets of Manhattan to the boulevards of West Hollywood. Designing a vehicle is a collaborative endeavor, taking Velar from a concept, from a vision, to a reality, took passion and determination. And it's a tribute to the designers and the engineers that have created it. It also speaks volumes for Land Rover's commitment to design and engineering excellence. Thank you to our CEO, Dr. Ralph Specht, for his tenacity, his tireless energy, and his constant support. And thank you for being here tonight to witness this very important step in our brand's transformational journey. Finally, I have a question for you. Is it starting to make a connection? Is it, is it starting to stir the emotions? Okay. I'll take that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Well, what a sensationally intimate way to meet two superstars here in New York tonight. I am calling it rock stars and Range Rovers. And in a minute, don't go anywhere, I'm going to have a little chat with Ellie about all sorts of things. But first, let's take a little look at what Ellie Goulding and the Range Rover Vela got up to when they met in Central Park a bit earlier today. It's a total cliche, but it's true. New York is one of the most energizing, vibrant cities in the world. Every time I come here, I love it. The noise, the people. I know it's crazy, but I love driving here too. That contrast of madness on the outside and silence on the inside. It's one of the reasons why I love Range Rover. There's no greater protection from the world outside. But there are still places in New York to think to prepare for performances, and to truly be myself. I can't believe I'm gonna be the first person to drive a new Vela outside of Land Rover. I've only just seen it. It's beautiful, it's elegant, but it still feels like part of the family. I love that Land Rover have created a premium seat material that's an alternative to leather. Land Rover is also auctioning a Vela for the East Side Settlement Charity. It's a great cause, helping 10,000 people improve their lives every year, right here in New York. I'm really excited to be part of bringing this fantastic car to the US and also helping to raise awareness for a really good local cause. Well, you see all those cameras and all those flashing lights? I wish they were for me, but they're not. Right, let's come over here and interrupt Ellie. I'm going to grab you away from this moment of fame. Hold on. I tell you what, that video of you in Central Park was so sweet. It's so amazing. And, and of course, being involved and being the first person to actually drive the Vela outside Jaguar Land Rover personnel is pretty cool. I know. I feel very lucky today. I feel very privileged. I feel like a special person. Um, yeah, it's such an amazing car and um, it's such an amazing partnership. And uh, it's just all, yeah, it's all, it's all very, um, 
it's worked out quite well because uh, everyone's really, the team are really great, um, the car's great. Um, I get to be in New York, the best city in the world. So I'm very happy today. <laughs> and of course, one of the things that you're very proud of and all your fans know, and I'd like all the motorsport fans to know and, and car industry fans, is you have a lot of integrity about the, the causes you support. And uh, I know that that is something that drives you and you spend a lot of time and, and energy on it. In that video, we saw those lovely young kids, those young people who come from disadvantaged uh, places. Really, the East Side House Settlement is, is, a, is what we're benefiting this week. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, so I, I met a bunch of um, lovely kids from the East Side um, Housing Settlement today. Um, and um, they came down because um, basically um, Range Rover are, um, have been lovely enough to donate uh, a car for auction to raise money for them. And it's so important to me because um, I really believe in uh, educating young people um, about, uh, you know, the things that are happening in the world. And, um, you know, the, the world is changing so much. Um, and I think that um, any, any cause that is uh, focused on young people and, um, you know, helping them to get the education they want um, is very close to my heart. I work, especially in London, I work um, with the homeless. Um, I am the patron of a women's shelter. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I, I just, I, I really love the fact that Range Rover have uh, done something so important so and, and something so like that's really important to me um, and uh, so you know I, I'm I'm always so happy to get involved with something that I know is doing good in the world now most people have to bake fairy cakes and give them away for an auction a Range Rover Velar is pretty cool but tell us about New York you can tell there's an amazing bond between the Range Rover brand and New York and I know you love this place you come here a lot what's your top New York moment that you can share with us Oh gosh! Well, I, I'll ha I really have to say uh, when I played uh, Madison Square Garden last year, because um, you know I've been to Madison Square Garden quite a few times to watch other shows and you know to watch the boxing and I never in a million years thought I would play there and um, it was a really iconic moment for me. It was it was it was probably the second show my dad has ever seen of me and I've been performing for like seven eight years. Well, longer than that. Um, and um, actually, the more time I spend here, the more I fall in love with it. Um, I find myself getting drawn here um, a lot more than I used to. And I'm actually seeing New York for what it really is, which is this incredible, energetic, vibrant, beautiful, colorful city. And, um, and you know, I've only ever been here for work, so I've only ever seen it in a very, in a specific light. But now I'm actually getting to take time out, walk around, experience it for myself, meet people, and, you know, it, re it really is just one of the most exciting, if not the most exciting city in the world. Well, thank you so much for coming here. I think you blew everyone's mind tonight. And, of course, everybody watching online, it really is a city where dreams can come true. But, of course, it takes an army of really talented people to build and launch a new car. And, of course, design is at the center of that. So let's take a look at the journey that the Vela went along. The new Range Rover Vela began with a blank canvas. New innovations ensure that the Velar excels in both form and function. What's exciting about Land Rover is we're challenging the art of the possible. This is the Range Rover Velar. We don't want to do anything ordinary. We could have just done something that was you know, a bigger version of Evoke or a smaller version of Range Rover Sport. It's not. It's something that is unique, that has its own unique character. Well, I truly believe that the Velar will really shift perceptions of what the Land Rover brand is about. Well, as you can see, the superstar of design, Jerry McGovern, is meeting here with Ellie. I'm going to have to drag him away. Beautiful cars, beautiful women. It's an it's a intoxicating combination. Do you know, here's a little nugget for you, that more people have built the Vela online than any other vehicle in the brand's history? So it's sort of an online superstar itself. Of course, Ellie has, I think, 16 million followers on Twitter. So that is kind of wild. I'm going to jump in here with Jerry. 
Okay. You know what? I think he's talking about things that are above my pay grade, such as international superstar, global travel, and uh, the new order. I think he's maybe actually trying to convince her what color she's going to have the new Vela in. I'm going to jump in, Jerry. That was beautiful. Thank you so much, Ellie. That was wonderful. That was, that, yeah, you're done now. I don't know. It's just, have you noticed that the, the landscape has just gone downhill? <laughs> Oh, Joe, that was wonderful hearing you talk. And of course, we got a chance earlier to, to talk about what New York means. I mean, it means so much for the brand, sort of the spiritual foreign home for, for Range Rover. But for you, you talk about Coventry, you talk about modernism in its purest form. But where we are right now, it, it literally is immersive, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a metropolis. It's a mecca. It's a homage to what I would call international modernism. Some of the greats have designed buildings here from from Phillips Johnston to Aero Saarinen. You've got a Henry Moore sculpture just outside. It's just a fantastic place. And of course, New York has great other modernist buildings, you know, like I mentioned. Uh, you know, the, the greats of the last century, Mies van der Rohe, Oscar Niemeyer, they've all done work here in, in New York. Yeah. And it's, it is a great city. I mean, I live in London, I love London, but New York does have that, that, kind of that, that thing, epic, that e epic proportion and scale. So let's talk about the Vela. Obviously, as a designer, you, there's so many influences that hit modernism a big one. For me, even the door handles, that's the simplicity, the beauty of this design, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I would probably call my, describe myself as a, as a sort of designer. And I'm always probably subconsciously thinking about modernism as a particular philosophy. So for example, on this vehicle, as with the Evoque, we've got the massive panoramic roof, which brings the outside in. We've got the semi-flush glazing, which is another component of modernism, the very clean surfaces, the sort of free from ornamentation. And yes, the flush glaze, the flush door handles is a very important feature too. So Evoque for the Range Rover family was an outstanding breakthrough. It, it signaled a new era, this transformation of the brand. How's this one going to do? Is it going to do the same thing? Is it going to take it to the next level? Well, I think, you know, Evoque uh, set a new standard and it made people realize that actually Land Rover is more than just about its functionality. And I think the thing about Evoque was its, its design literacy. And it was a different type of vehicle for us, what we call white space. And this vehicle is the same. This vehicle didn't exist before. We've created in a way, although there are vehicles out there of comparable size, there isn't really anything quite like this. I don't think there's anything in terms of that execution of, of its modernist feel. And of course, this is a brilliantly engineered vehicle too. And it's super to drive, very refined, very sophisticated. It's a new type of Range Rover, arguably for a new type of customer. Well, I know I have bitterly disappointed you, not with the interview, but with the fact that I let Ellie go in that direction. Jerry, you know what? You and your team have put on just as an impressive performance as she has tonight. So thank you so much to everybody. So obviously, it's been sensory overload here tonight. Literally, the combination of the music and this very intimate venue, and of course, the new Range Rover Vela has been quite intoxicating. And what a way to kick off a whole week of activities here in New York City. Now, I know you've enjoyed it, but you don't have to stop here. You can sort of get involved. Go to landrover.com and you can see more videos of what and photographs of what Ellie got up to with the Velar out in Central Park. And of course, you can watch this whole show over again. Thank you so much for watching. Thank